Hello friends, I'd like to welcome you to my channel, Crafting with Pat. Today, I'm participating in an open collaboration called Hashtag Practicing How to Decorate Tear Trays. And our host channel is Janita's Black Folks, Well Wishes, Arts and Crafts. In this open collaboration, we are practicing how to display items on tear trays and starting to feel comfortable doing it. Janita has added some other items that you can also use if you don't have a tear tray. At first, I didn't have a tear tray either, so I made one. But um, I advise you to check out her channel and I know you'll be very happy to see <laughs> what she has going on because she's got a lot going on on that channel. Friends, today on my tear tray, I am displaying some journals that I made, some junk journals. There is an open collaboration that is called Journal Jubilee that I want to get involved in. However, I saw a video on how to make your own journal. And that is what has gotten me started with this. I've made two and one is in the workings. And that's what I'm displaying today. And plus some of the stickers I'm, that I made to go in my, in my um, junk journal. So let's take a look at how I've been doing this. Well, friends, here's my display. And I wanna show you the first journal I made. You can see the paper's kind of wrinkly. I made this out of a gum package. And that's what's holding the pages together. I glued the pages and then I'm holding them with that. That's the side stickers I'm going to use in that little inspiration journal there. Those are just pictures I took and then recorded them off. And this is the first model of what I wanted my little junk journal to look like. And then I watched the video and found out this is how you make it. I'm not too good at fabric. Well, I'm not too good at trying to make a hem for the fabric to go around there. So that is um, like a little square felt on the inside there. So I don't have to hem it. And this is what the junk journal looks like under. I'm experimenting with different fabrics and finding out some things are not so happy with glue being put on them. And so I'm learning. And this box is kind of like an inspiration. I'm going to make a, a book for my daughter. I want it to look like the Harry Potter one, the one that's got the teeth and it's kind of furry. So, yeah, I'll throw that one when I get it done. Well, friends, this is my display. And the question is for this week, I'm trying to show how I'm making the junk journals. Should I display like this so you see that it's a tea box inside or should I have left it the way it was with the shiny cover showing so friends which look do you like best do you like it better if I display the one that's not done open so you could see this is how I'm doing them or should I show it this way so you can see I'm having trouble with the glue here So this is look number one with the fabric side up, look number two with the tea box showing so you can see how I make it. So give me some feedback friends, which one do you think is best for the display? Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye for now and happy crafting.